here is my clockwork fairy Aurora. I did unbox her and take her out a little bit before this. But I have the open eye face, face plate, all the magnets, the certificate of authenticity, which I've yet to take out and look at. And then in this box, uh, here we go. We have the little, well, kind of big eyes. Um, there was also the uh, magnetic horn and ears that were in there. And a little message. <laughs> Very nice. And of course, the rest of the doll. She came with the sleeping face plate on, I guess, because, you know, she was asleep on her way here. Um, the box was incredible. Or should I say is incredible. I'll have to show you that. But I got her in, I believe she called the color coconut, which is a white resin, coconut resin. Um, got her in this color for a particular inspirational look for her. I had a hard time choosing uh, which color to get. Uh, all I know is I all I knew was that I wanted Aurora, and I just couldn't choose which color though. And then here's all of the stuff in the box. But she also comes was tied down in the box with the ribbon. I'm gonna leave all that in there. But I chose this color because as much as I just like unicorns in general, as a fantasy creature and some of the lore and things behind them are different, um, different literary characters uh, that are unicorns. Um, I decided to go with white because I'm going to do a uh, inspirational color theme and stylization of her based off of uh, whew, I can't even think of the author right now. Uh, the book, The Last Unicorn, or maybe you've seen the um, animated uh, film, The Last Unicorn. And I think that came out in the 80s. It might have been the same studio, Studio Ghibli, that maybe had also, that studio um, that it had maybe helped um, work on that project too. Can't remember. I'm trying to remember some old information from there, but yeah. Basically, Last Unicorn uh, from the Last Unicorn animation animated film is my inspiration for what I'm going to do to customize or stylize this doll here. Big head, small body, about the size of a pull-up doll. I think something I've never had one of these or seen one of these in person. I always admired them. Um, I was so going to get the deer doll until I saw that this one was going to be coming out, this little sprite. So I got this one instead. Maybe later some other time. But I just got this one. Um, sleeping face plate. Really cute. See the slits in the eyes. Okay, let's take a big oh, look at her noggin. I'm going to have to do a body review. But let's take those pieces off. Here she is from the back. Uh, very interesting. I know you see all the pictures, the shape, but look how like her back is so curved. It's a little bum bum. But real quick, I'm just doing this with one hand. Hold on. Okay. There's the S hook inside. Very big inside of the head but the resin is very soft and smooth. The head isn't heavy at all. She can stand, I did stand her. Obviously you have to be careful when standing her. She has very small feet, um, but it says Aurora in there on the inside. Magnets hold very, very well. But this is the box, um, incredible. Pearlized paper, all put together in sort of a shadow box uh, thing. Or away. Um, it's a very thick box. Honestly, really big for just this one doll. But maybe she has these boxes in general, depending on how many dolls she's putting in there, or um, her different kinds of dolls. Maybe her human size, her fairies, or bigger ones. 
So it's a very nice box. Oh, and that sound you heard earlier, it's there's a handle here, you see that? It's a really nice box. Might even just use it as a display case when I'm done. Maybe just display her here in her box, like gosh. Like it's, I know, I love the doll, but this box, hold on, let's look at it some more, okay. So check it out. You see all the layers, how that's all put together in there? And the spacers um, in between each cutout, like that's really fun. And then you see how it's put in. And there's a, um, it's not glass, it's a, a stiff like plastic or plastic sheeting. Very well made, very nice. Mm, probably my favorite doll box I've ever gotten with the doll so far. Uh, yeah, for now, we're gonna say this is my favorite, uh, favorite as I've ever gotten. I don't know, maybe I should, like, rank all my favorite doll boxes. You know, maybe that could be a thing. This one is definitely would probably be top of the list. It's a whole thing in itself. Okay, I'm done talking about the box. I'm gonna have to come back to it later. But anyways, yeah, that's it. Um, I'll probably give her different eyes. Maybe I'll keep her with these. I gotta look closer at the, uh, art work but I think she had sort of like purple eyes if I remember right the unicorn and the last unicorn but uh yeah this is going to be fun um hold on I'll open this up real quick but then I gotta go it's supposed to be a quick video so let me open this up real quick hold on okay we're back now question is can you even see it it is also on pearlized paper um I'll have to take a picture of it or something. Oh, wait, wait, at that angle, you can see. So if you want to read it, just pause it right there. But that is it for the box opening. Awesome, very happy about this doll, so excited. See you later.